watch you as you drive do you know i'm looking and i can't help but smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment although i have been in london for so many years I must admit that I had never seen this side of London. It was an amazing day. Thank you guys for always watching my videos. And we are now on the way to 600 subscribers. If you are new here, why not consider subscribing if you enjoyed watching today's video. Guys, this is London. I hope you are going to enjoy. welcome to my channel uh, thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos if you are new here my name is Maria Hams I am a content creator and I live in the United Kingdom with my family uh, so today I am in London let me just show you where I am I am a place called uh, Excel London let me just turn my camera guys there you go this is the view through my window as you can see, there's lots and lots of people out there because apparently there is a Pokemon, Pokemon, whatever you call it, game activities happening there. And uh, my two teenage boys, they follow Pokemon and uh, they are uh, attending the event, which is uh, from Thursday to Sunday. So that's where they are. And uh, look to my right, there is a Sunborn London, which is a yacht. Yesterday we went on the um, cable cars with my niece that is traveling with me so you will see that in one of my videos but what I want to do right now guys is I just wanted to show you how my room looks like uh, so I'm sharing a room with my niece and uh, the boys are also sharing theirs so let me show you how our room looks like and uh, there is my niece Lisa Hello. It's a bit dark there because the lighting in here is not so good, but that's Lisa. She's my camera girl nowadays, so you'll mm -hmm. see her in my videos. And uh, where Lisa is, there through there, if you go, excuse me, please. This is the bathroom. So I tell you, it's not very tidy now because obviously we've been using the. Let me just remove this guy so that you can see how it looks like. We've been using the bathroom. But that's how it looks like very very nice it's got an interesting feature that uh, when you switch off the lights here uh, that screen over there changes to a, a like cloudy so that you don't see on the other side and when you press it again then this becomes clear so that if you're in the shower um, if um, you can actually see through the bedroom or someone in the bedroom let's say you are you know your, your partner or whoever can also see you which is quite cool i think for those who are on their romantic trips so that's quite nice and uh, through here is the romaine room uh before that i'll show you this a, a wardrobe and uh, just from the door you start with that wardrobe there and then a glass the, the mirror here and you can put your bags over here double wardrobe guys and you also got a ironing and an iron and an ironing board. The bedroom. I slept on this bed. It's a standard room with a sofa bed. So my niece slept on the sofa bed, which has been made. So that turns into a bed, uh, into a bed. And then during the day, if you want, you can turn it into a sofa. And uh, nice curtains, lighting. I requested for a fan, guys, because I get so hot. And the room temperature, I couldn't control it for some reason, so I requested to have a fan. And there's a nice screen there, a nice TV. And a chair. So yeah, and then there's a, this, which is um, it's a, it's a table, so if you're eating your meals. So yeah, pretty standard. Oh, and then there is also a nice picture to the wall. A fridge, a small domestic fridge. And a safe, which is very handy if you've got any valuable jewelry or whatever you have. And then at the top there is um, uh, the teas and coffees, the kettle and glasses. So yeah, 
guys that's how my room looks like it's pretty standard but beautiful uh, this type of hotels uh, they are a chain of hotels so next to us there's also um, one of the sister hotels called um, Ibis and we are staying at Nov Hotel so for those who know um, they are sister companies so that's sorry guys I'm trying to find where there's light um, so yeah those are the sister companies so that's where we are so right now guys we're gonna go out and find something to show you in london since i am down here in london i want to be able to show you as much as i can and so that you can enjoy i hope you guys are enjoying my videos if you are new here why not consider subscribing if you enjoy uh, what you're going to see today for my subscribers thank you thank you so much for always coming back to watch my videos and uh, we are on the road to 1000 subscribers so keep liking sharing and uh, ask others to subscribe as well thank you guys so guys they're just making up the rooms as you can see there uh, and uh the cleaning trolley let's go we are going now to go out and this is how it looks like in here so yeah guys it's a bit dark in here so you don't, you don't see us very well but it's like this they're looking cool <laughs> And, uh, oh, by the way, you might uh, hear her saying mom when she's referring to me. Uh, she likes to call me mom, or we call each other mom. Uh, mom so you might, you might hear her calling me mom, because we call each other mom and daughter. She's uh, my girl. So guys, that's us in the mirror, mom and daughter. Looking good. Looking cool. This is how we feel, glasses. Thank you. Uh, so guys, um, so we're going to go out show you the hotel that's how it looks like downstairs and then we will go out to go to some other parts of london and this is the lifts area we are on the seventh floor so we want to go downstairs to the reception area So we're going down, guys. First floor. Doors opening. So this is the ground floor. So that's the reception area. So that's the lift. And I'll just show you how it looks like here. This is the reception. Some nice pretty pictures. Uh, as you can see, it's very lovely places here. And there is the trailer. Look, guys, it's a beautiful, beautiful hotel. Nice areas to sit. So it's a it's no hotel hotels and um, that's the bar area. Okay. And it's nice sitting areas guys. Beautiful. What I love about this hotel is uh, that cool feature guys over there. Do you know what they can see? Uh, it's but sorry there's music here so you might not hear me talking, but this is like a, a cool feature, guys. Look, it's this is apparently so natural. We're not supposed to touch, but this is natural. So, yeah. Hello. Yes, that's correct. Yeah, we're going. We are going out today. Yes, yes, yes. YouTube. Outside, guys, and this is where we had our breakfast this morning. So that's how it looks like. And uh, this door will take you to the terrace. So yeah, guys, this is 
the we are outside guys now at the terrace of this lovely beautiful beautiful hotel at the excel london and this is the view guys and look i don't know whether you can see but there is some cable cars which we went on yesterday it is just beautiful guys we are in the city of london and it's a beautiful day as well and uh that is a uh, sunburn london which i showed you earlier for my room and there's lisa it's okay you're looking good is it you're looking good so that's a lovely lady who works here <laughs> So guys, just speaking to one of the workers uh, who saved us, lovely, lovely lady. So she's the one speaking to my niece. And also, look guys, I don't know whether I can see there's a train. Oh, it's gone. It's a tram actually. It's gone. Uh, but this is the hotel. So on that side it says Ibis, but we are actually staying in this one here. No hotel. So they are sister hotels, Ibis and Nova Hotel. So Ibis apparently is a three-star hotel, and we are at Nova Hotel, which is a four-star hotel. But yeah, nice. So this is the hotel where we are staying at. It's beautiful, guys. I really recommend it if you do come to this part of. Um, London guys look at this interior design in this hotel this is beautiful guys look I just love it and this is the view from the I feel like the high street we'll be going down there in a minute so right now we'll go to the car park Guys, we are in the lift again to go down now to the car park because we need to go and get our jackets. So guys, we are going to go to the car park and go and get our jackets from the car. Because mm -hmm. we parked the but that's the other thing. Parking is very, very expensive, guys. So if you do come in to the Excel London, be prepared to to pay a bit of money. It costs about uh, mm -hmm. 10, is it 30 pounds? Five pounds an hour to park. It's a no hotel, pack up a parking which is it's no hotel. Travel from uh, Japan. Yeah. Really? Oh. To come and play Pokemon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So I travel, travel. Oh. to different countries and I do that on YouTube. Yeah. 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 Okay. Do you wanna take uh, check and uh, check me out? Okay. Yeah. You can subscribe. Maybe share with your friends as well. Uh, I'm hoping to travel to Japan one day. Me. My YouTube. Oh, that's yours. <laughs> ah, that's good. Let me take a photo. I can show it to my boys, my children. Okay. Did you take mine? It's mine now, uh, but uh, I'll show yours to the boys. Because they like Pokemon and they are young people, so they will, they will be interested. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you. you. Okay. Share it with others. Yeah. And, um, Don't forget to subscribe. He's already going to subscribe. Did you subscribe? And share it with your... Did you subscribe his mom? I'm going to give it to the boys okay. because they are the same yes. age. All right. But All right. share it with your parents, you know, people of my age who might want to see because I travel. And uh, one day I might come to Japan. Yeah, because yeah. the boys like uh, Pokemon and they like they want to go to Japan. We wanted to come to Japan last year, but uh, we didn't. But this year, we want to come to Japan. Yeah. 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 All right then. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> Bye. So this is the parking area, guys, and we need to find our car. Somewhere is is lovely, lovely. This is a beautiful car. And then we go to the train. Guys, we are now outside. So, 
we want to go into the high street if you like it and we've just come out of this hotel no hotel and uh so we are just going to go now to the high street so i was as i was saying there is a a lot of hotels in this area and ibis is just the one next to us and they're both fifth star hotels with no hotel and these are just residential flats quite tall so yeah it's a beautiful day yes and uh considering we are in uh what month um <laughs> We are in April. Guys, I'm middle age, mid age, so sometimes, you know, I don't say things so quickly as I used to. Uh, if you're a woman, I'm sure you know what I mean. But, uh, ah. Yes. Thank you, thank you, Messi. Gracias. So, what about this? I don't know what that language that is. Thank you, thank I don't know. Tell me, guys, how we say that. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's just from the Excel London. I'm going to go to the um, Tesco. There's a Tesco there, just a mini grocery shop. Uh, if you don't live in the UK, it's just one of the shops. They've got big Tesco shops, and there. there's an express ones. So we want to go there. Thank you. Look at the car, guys. That's a nice car. Hmm. Very nice. Ferrari or Lamborghini? No, that's a Ferrari. Yeah, even... No, yeah. <laughs> no, no, you. I mean, I'm so embarrassed. But they look. That's a Porsche, guys. <laughs> Ferrari. Look at this. Uh, this is the Tesco van. So we are going to a Tesco shop just ahead there. Because guys, we are looking for Oyster cards so that we can travel to London. Mm -hmm. So we're going to find out maybe they might have them in uh, in this local shop. Let's go in and find out. Yeah, yeah maybe they might have them. Yeah, I want to check out. Sell oyster cards. Where do I buy them from? Uh, there's a Elizabeth line over there. You can try. I can buy, do they have somewhere I can buy from? So I what? can buy from there. I think so. Do you think so? Okay. All right. Then. Thank you. Yeah. Go up to the entrance and turn left and then you get but, your tickets from the train oh, station. Oh, can I? Oh, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, so you don't get tickets from XL, you get tickets from the train station. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, thank you. So guys, we're going to uh, go and buy tickets from the actual train uh, station. We just asked him. and he told us we can go and get our tickets from there. So we didn't have to go to find from. I didn't think Tesco sell them anyway. Mm -hmm. Let me know, guys. Does Tesco Express sell uh, train tickets? Uh, you know, the oyster cards and whatever. I don't know. I don't live in London, so, you know, I haven't been it's to like like new... London for a long time. The oyster cards, I know they've been, they've been used in use for a long time. Yeah. I used to own one, but I don't know where I've put it. So I need to get oyster cards, then we can be able to travel to, to London. So let's go and find out from the train station. Chase it, gotta believe it, you gotta go 
sounds bad because about animals fight each other while they like it. You make friends with them, you bond with them through battle. Oh, right. Yeah. But uh, it's mostly like you bond with the animals. Yeah, you make friends, you make friends with them. And France. Oh yeah, yeah, I've been to France. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, check me out. I thank you so much for time. Thank you. So guys, uh, love the love the young people there I've been speaking to. Um, yeah, as you hear, it's a community. So the people actually enjoy. You can see young people. Do you want to go to the shop? Yeah, just enjoy themselves as a community. So people who have the same interests, they gather here, play games, get to each other, using consoles, using cards. And I'm gonna go through these uh, gates here. Why is he not letting us go? Hmm? Why? <laughs> Which one is what? This one? Sorry? <laughs> no, I didn't. Why is he not letting us go? We just bought all zones because we just want to go around London. Okay, so this is one way journey. Oh, so wherever dear. you go, mm. it's finished. Oh my goodness me. So, are they so we should have bought which ones then? So are they ticket? One all day. All day, yeah. Yeah, but there was off peak and uh, we thought maybe if we bought by off peak we might get in yeah, trouble. No, no, off peak is uh, weekend. Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Oh, because it's weekend. Yeah, yeah. All right, so, so now maybe we should go and buy proper yeah, ones because otherwise. You start then. Yeah, but then when then we go when at the next station we can buy. Yeah, of course, at any station you can buy one. Because this gonna just go to the next station. That's all. So where are you going? We want to go to London Bridge. So that will take the London Bridge. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. There's someone talking. To you. Thank you so much for having. So guys, we bought a single <laughs> ticket. <laughs> we bought a single ticket, and apparently the ones we bought, they will only work for a single journey. So we were supposed to buy off peak, one day travel card. So there you go, guys. If you are here in train London, make sure you get the right ticket. So guys, uh, we're gonna go to. London Bridge and we are going on the Elizabeth Lane the train so guys uh, we are in on the train with uh, Lisa and uh, so we're gonna go to the next station from uh, Custom House at Excel, we boarded uh, Elizabeth Line to go to uh, Liverpool Street where we're gonna get the Northern Line. So that's how it looks like there on the train line. So, guys, we have uh, a line a lighted at Liverpool Street. So we are going to Northern Line. As you can see, guys, uh, 
as I said, you always have to stand on the right because other people want to walk like this guy here in front of me. He's uh, walking. I think that is really something I can't do. I wouldn't be able to walk like that, guys. But young people and those who are fit, they can do that. And by the way, I don't like heights, so there is no way I am going to be walking on this elevator. So guys, you can see we're going to the right side to look for Northern Line. The London Underground, also known simply as the Underground, or by its nickname, the Tube, is a rapid transit system serving Greater London and some parts of the adjacent home counties of Buckinghamshire, Essex and Hertfordshire in England. The nickname Tube comes from the circular tube-like tunnels through which the small profile trains travel. The network is expanded to 11 lines with 250 miles, which is 400 kilometers of track. However, the underground does not cover most southern parts of Greater London. There are only 33 underground stations south of the River Thames. The system's 272 stations collectively accommodate up to 5 million passenger journeys a day. In 2020 and 2021, it was used for 296 million passengers passenger journeys, making it, making it one of the world's busiest metro system. This information was obtained from Wikipedia. Because we want to go to London Bridge, so we dropped off at Liverpool Street because we're coming from London Excel. And now we are going to go to the other line so that we can go to London Bridge. So let's go guys. It's quite warm in here. Right. Which one do we need? That you can oh, no, this one. Sorry. This one. So yeah guys, we have managed to catch our train. Okay, so it's going to modern. Uh, so guys, we are in the train. It's quite warm. I'm actually feeling very warm now. Yeah. Very uncomfortable. But uh, so I'm uh, just checking to see how many train stops there are. This is just saying this too. So, guys, we are going to drop off here now at uh, London Bridge. As you can see, London Bridge. So Lisa, this is where, so you can go, you can actually see here. This is where we are, so you can go and see the shard. You can do, you can go to the barrel markets, South Hall Cathedral. I would want to go here at some point. Here, we are in the London Underground. It is so noisy, as you can imagine. But if you are not from Europe, this is how it looks like basically. So the train is just uh, dropped us and it's gone. But uh, so this is how it looks like through there, guys. That's where the train goes. That's the underground. So, yeah, very interesting transport network. So I'm just showing this because I know some people have not traveled to first world or to European uh, countries. So that's why I do these videos, guys, to show you. So, guys, uh, let's go out to the, and visit the London Bridge. And see what we can find.
So guys, it's just escalator after escalator. So now we are going out, obviously. So we are coming from the underground trains. And we want to go and show you some uh, interesting stuff that we have here in uh, London. So I'll try as much as possible to show you as many as possible, as many interesting places as possible. That's the correct English. So yeah, guys. <clears throat> One thing I would say is underground. <clears throat> You can imagine all those trains uh, traveling up and down uh, London. It is like it's got this smoke kind of air, which is obviously not that's expected. So if you, I think if you're someone with uh, who suffers with asthma and all these other um, airways uh, illnesses. It's really not the best place to be in. Once in a while it's okay, but I can imagine having to work in London and we have to go through this. It's not good. So let's go guys and go to London Bridge. So you always have to make sure you got your tickets to go out in and out of the guys uh, what we're gonna do is we want to go in the shard so to be able to view the city of London from the shard uh, so I want to go and find out how much oh well the tickets are found that online they cost 28 pounds 40 pence so we're gonna find out if we can be able to buy tickets from there so I'm sure we can hi Hello. can we buy tickets inside you can there's only availability for 345 but oh. they might be able to let you in slightly earlier so okay just check at the ticket desk and okay you know. okay thank you Hi, how are you? Good, thank you. I would like to buy two tickets, please. So is this tour a guided tour or do you just go on your own? How? So you just go on your own. Oh, okay. So we'll guide you to the left side, to the upper levels. Once you're on the upper levels, you can walk around the place. Okay. So that will be for level 6 gate, 672. Okay. 69 is the main place, so you can go north. Uh-huh. Then you also have 72, which is the highest floor, and that's over there. Oh, lovely. Very nice, thank you. So look at that, guys. That's uh, what we're going to see, hopefully. So what's the last time, uh, last entry? Today, um, so last entry today will be 9 p.m. Okay. And then we'll close the venue around 10 p.m. All right. Ah, quite nice to come in the evening, I'm yeah. sure, because the view will be... Oh, is that right? What do you advise? Any time of the day or... If... Um, it depends. Sunset is the busiest, but it's the best time. So okay. Usually I recommend coming just before the sunset. Oh, so right. the daytime. Yeah. And then when the sun sets, you get the sun setting, and then you go yeah. back to the night time. You stay for a couple of hours. Okay, but our ticket only allows us one entry. One entry. Well, you're more than welcome to buy tickets for and come back. So I'm thinking maybe we should go and come back. We should go out. Yeah, we'll buy now. Hello, lovely people. I am here in London today where I've come to show you a few attractions in London and uh, it's very busy because of at least a weekend. Yes, I'm oh, sorry. This is the vinegar yard. Ah, okay. I've never heard of the vinegar yard. Okay. Yeah. So is this also a bigger, a little bit bigger market or? Uh, no, it's quite small and it's like clothes and vintage stuff. Oh, clothes and vintage stuff. Yeah. Okay, very nice. Nice jackets. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> is this vintage stuff or yeah, just mixture? Vintage stuff, vintage stuff, um, jewelry. Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. I'll go and check out. So Borough Market is not too far from here? Yeah, Borough Market is about two minutes down that way to the end of the road. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. We'll go in there. Hello. 
How are you? Hello. What are you like? Uh, say, I'm good, thank you very much. I'm a vlogger, so if, if you don't mind cameras, I don't. I like to ask people first. Yeah, are you okay of with? Course. All right. So what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I respect people. Yeah. What do you? What are you selling here then? Um, so uh, this company is Smile Empowerment. It's a wellness company. Ah, um, right. Root, I thought so. <laughs> yeah, rooted with holistic care with yeah. crystals and healing stones. Ah, okay, interesting. Uh, but also holistic tools, so like um, smudging incense and things like that. Mm. It's about self care. Self care. Getting back to yourself, which is very, very important. So important. Especially the way we live nowadays, yes. hectic but lives. Too much going on. Yeah. Too much going on. Okay. But sometimes you need to stop, pause, and get back to yourself. Very true. So this is why I started the business. Um, and yeah, I, I just like meeting new people and speaking oh, to people. You are like me. Yeah, like yeah. me. That's why I'm a vlogger because I love meeting. Yeah. Is this your? This is my daughter. Oh, she's so gorgeous. Yeah, How are you? you? I'm good, thank you. Oh, I'm good, thank you. This is my daughter as well. Oh, <laughs> Family business now. A family yeah? business, yeah. Okay. What, so how does? Sorry. Sorry, I said, where do where do you post on Instagram? Or? Uh, no, YouTube. YouTube. Yes. Beautiful. Yeah. I've always been a traveller, but I never used to document. Yeah. And then I thought, why not document? Yeah. And now my children are teenagers. They, they're grown up, so I've got more time got now time. to travel. Oh, and you'll be inspiring people. I yes, tell yes, you. yeah. Lovely. I love people. So how does this actually work then? So basically, if you're using healing stones and crystals, they're they're unique um, crystals, but they have their own frequency. Okay. So it's about when you're meditating, you mm. have a frequency, and if so it's about energy. Yeah, and if your frequency is off, you may need uh, to help by other frequencies to put you back in line, mm. back in alignment, if that makes sense. You might be going through something, mm -hmm. you're stressed, whatever, but there might be a connection you have okay. that you can sit with to connect. Connect. Either connect back with yourself or connect with God or, you know, just connection. Mm. So, Very interesting. you know, it, it, it helps. It does help because what happens nowadays, mm. you go to the doctors, you say, oh, I'm stressed. They say, hey, take medication. Medication. And medication is Why no do good for us. Why you have medication? No, I don't you know? believe in medications. I love natural anything natural. exactly these are from the ground okay they're not tampered with mm -hmm. and they're just things that are like a, a conduit something that you can touch, touch. and feel and you and know connect does it, it can you also smell sage is natural other oh, those things they're sage herb. Mm -hmm. and whether it comes in a form that whatever you ingest, form. it's still, it's still from natural surroundings so yeah. let's not get confused the tablet is uh. something that you is easy to swallow yeah but it's what's within the tablet that's it that that's it the, yeah so, so this might actually does this is because you it's a scent is something that you burn this, this is the burn so you're burning your your around your air so your air is being cleansed of yeah. any impurity yeah if you burn it you're cleansing energetic field yeah because we all have an energetic field mm -hmm. if you're using like i made a spray because mm -hmm. not many people like to burn things yeah. in their yeah. house but the spray is you just natural spray, essential yeah. oil and you use that with the uh you know palo santo with the sage inside to cleanse your area so mm. i mm. think it is it's just like alternative care yeah, uh, yeah. alternative wellness mm -hmm. you know this is beautiful it's a nice um, material some scarves and things and uh, nice jackets Bre beautiful Where's the prizes? I don't know where the prizes are. But that's beautiful. Mm. Nice things here. This is 89 pounds. Hello. How are you? I'm good, thank you. You've been here before. No, I just got good energy. You've got a lovely energy. How are you? I'm very good. Good. By the way, I am a vlogger, so maybe that's why I've got good energy. Oh. So I like to tell so you people. you love vintage. I would love vintage. This is so my I daughter. I love vintage. So okay. Got lots of, like, I can see you've got beautiful Dax, things. Um, yeah. Simpson, uh, Piccadilly. So this very is... pure wool. I love. And it costs eighty nine pounds. Yeah. Good price for, for silk, this. And good know. price for this. Yeah. For type of quality lip. tailoring, yeah. right? Wow. Thank you. So wow. lovely to meet you. What's your nice name? Nice to meet you, Maria. Maria, I am, I'm Stavros. Okay, lovely I am on YouTube. Maria. That's what I do. That's I'm a amazing. vlogger. So you can check me out. Maybe I'll give you a, uh, show you my name. Well, if you want to film but, something, you're welcome. Oh, thank you so much. We're going to go around and have a look. Yeah. yeah. Do you want to put this somewhere? Uh, thank you, darling. It's just everything is nice. Yeah. Thank you. That's so kind. Yes. Oh, let's go over and come back. Yeah. Thank you so much. We'll, we'll probably pass through again and see if we can get time to... Uh, thank Welcome you so much. Back. Thank you. Mm. Nice hats. Hello. I'm good. How are you? 
Sorry. Rule six to the ten. Okay. Voters are twelve. Okay. Pendants are twelve. The earrings are twelve. French is that Italian in average. So this is all vintage style. Yeah, 1980s. The, the, the puzzle on it is 1980s. 1980s. Very very popular in the 80s. These sort of things. Okay, okay. Italian, French, which is lovely. So we have Japanese and Chinese also do a lot of that. Okay. I'm, you see, we're actually learning. I didn't know that. I'm actually learning today all these things. So they're beautiful. They're so pretty. Very pretty. Very, very nice one. I like these that are pretty. Yeah. <laughs> That's the closest, guys. As you can see, people enjoying themselves. All right, guys. Uh, so we continue with our tour of London. Right now, I'm walking at the London Bridge, and uh, it is busy. It's a busy Saturday afternoon, and people are walking about, eating drinking also so it is really really busy here but this is the view guys and this is my niece over there she is the camera girl this is amazing guys london so for those who haven't been to london i hope this video has been good i hope i've managed to show you some of the things of course it's a big city so i can't show you everything but uh I have managed, I hope I've managed to show you some things. Thank you guys for always coming back to watch my videos. And if you are new here, why not consider subscribing to my channel? So guys, we are in London today. And right now I am standing at the London Bridge. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying my videos. Please share, like, and subscribe to Maria Hams. This is London Bridge. London Bridge was begun in 1176 and for centuries was the only stone crossing over the River Thames.
spanning more than 900 feet, it was the longest inhabited bridge in Europe and was considered a wonder of the world. London Bridge as we know it today was opened to traffic by the late Queen Elizabeth II on 16 March 1973. Now made of concrete and steel, it replaced a 19th century stone arched bridge designed by Scottish civil engineer John Rennie. You can walk and cross this bridge with it. You can actually walk and cross this bridge within five minutes. So this is London Bridge, guys. And the view. A little bit later, we're gonna go up the shard, that tall building, guys. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. Right now we are going to Leadenhall Market. Guys, I'm just taking you around all these areas in market in the AM. Guys, I'm just taking you around all these areas in London. Since I'm in the city of London today. So yeah, just taking you around. I don't know what's open, but we're gonna go around and show you this market guys and that's how it looks like that's the roof there Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along, and I can't help but feeling just loving. We're still continuing with the tour. Look at the view, guys. Across there is the Tower Bridge over there. And uh, this is the view. The tall building you see there is called the Shard. And we are going to go there in a meeting in a, in a minute. But yeah, guys, it looks beautiful. And The current bridge is one of many since the Romans built the first one close to this site 2,000 years ago. It is thought to have had a tall bridge, draw bridge in the center to allow ships to sail up a river just like Tower Bridge does today. Through the centuries, various wooden bridges were built which collapsed or were destroyed until a stone bridge was built in 1176. This bridge lasted 600 years. Houses were built on the bridge to bring in tax revenue. In the lower right of the illustration, 
over the southern gatehouse, you can see the heads of executed criminals on spikes. So guys, this is the history here. Okay. All right. So we're going to go and... Uh, Okay. It's they drove on the pavement. They jumped yeah, some strawberries. All oh, right. Yeah. Oh, it's like um. London. It's night. It's getting dark now, but we keep on going. Guys, uh, we are back at the Barra Market, and this is London at night. It's getting dark now. On the way to go and climb the shards. Yeah, it's just it's, it's, it's a... Wait, oh, I don't. Oh, I was done. Someone is enjoying themselves. Play music. So, guys, we're gonna go here and visit the shard. Welcome to the vertical city. The shard is not simply an iconic building, but represents a new approach to expanding the urban landscape. Offices, residences, and public spaces alike are all taken skyward. Ivan Seller, the Shard's developer and joint owner, had an, had an ambitious vision to create an architecturally striking vertical city, incorporating retail, offices, hotel, apartments, restaurants, and a public viewing gallery. The Shard comprises 60 floors of high-specification office space, three floors of restaurants, the 19-floor, five-star Shangri-La Hotel, 13 floors of residential apartments and London's highest public viewing gallery. Guys, this was an amazing experience for me and my niece. We really had a nice time and I hope you too are going to enjoy watching this video. I watch you as you drive Do you know But smile do you know how much i love you you put my favorite song on i put my feet up and we just sing along and i can't help but feeling just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together if i could stop the time don't you know that I would Cause I'm just loving this moment Can we stay here forever Forever 
so guys, uh, some of my audio was not audible because uh, my mic was off. But uh, I hope you've enjoyed. You've enjoyed today, today's video. Uh, I was saying I am at the Shad in London, and uh, my audio was off, unfortunately, guys. But uh, still, the views have been fantastic, and we are going to toss our non-alcoholic champagne again once more. Uh, me and my niece because you were not hearing what we're saying. Uh, <laughs> Two, good life. Mm -hmm. really nice. So guys, the view that you've been seeing is from the Shard in London. And it's now at night, so this is the view, guys. Tower bridge over there. So guys, we had a lovely day. As I said, apologies if the audio was off, but uh, yeah, we were just tossing a champagne and enjoying ourselves. So we are gonna go now because it's end the end of the day, and the lovely gentleman who saved us was from a country called Georgia, uh, which is in Europe. So guys, we are now exiting the shard, going downstairs, and then we out we go, and we will go and catch our train to go back to our hotel. But it's been an amazing day. Apologies for the audio, guys. But uh, the mic was off, which is one of the things that happens when you're vlogging. Too much excitement, guys. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Stay here forever I'm loving this moment 